the vets and beyond. And we think that's very important. We've got a full slate and a tight schedule. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Michael Blecker, Executive Director of Story the Cloud Share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leon Wenson, who did just a tremendous job pulling all of these things together. I mean, I can't help but say, but, you know, the, the old saying, who built it? We built this. We. We. And that's going to be emphasized throughout the program. We truly did build this. Everybody in the room, everybody here, the whole community. And that's really what it's about. So I'm really happy everyone's here. It's going to be practically a love fest here. I mean, my whole... All, I'm, all I want to do is like make sure I don't acknowledge all the incredibly invaluable contributions and not, not blow it too badly. Um, there's not going to be a lot of eloquence. The eloquence is really in this building, right? This is the eloquence. The eloquence is the, is the 75 formerly homeless vets who are going to help alleviate their suffering, right? That's what it's all about. It serves their country. So, just take a look. Keep your eye on the building. That's your eloquence. So. Um, as Leon said, who did, again, it's just a remarkable job. And as I go through this, you'll get a, you'll appreciate all the all the incredible folks who were who made this made this real. Um, it, it's really unprecedented in terms of the collaboration and partnerships. Uh, it would never have happened but for all these all, everybody that you're going to hear about. Who and only a few will get a chance to speak because it's just too too many. Um, so let me just begin by saying that the partnership started with Swords and Chinatown CDC. A tremendous partner for us. I mean, we're the provider. Tenant on CDC is a very experienced nonprofit uh, housing developer, and we are so lucky in San Francisco to have such a rich nonprofit housing development community. It's really unbelievable. It's unprecedented, really. San Francisco, are you kidding me? I mean, the years of experience of what they have done, and how many people they've taken off the street. I mean, I think they, us, we, really remarkable, and uh, we are so proud to have, have them as a partner. And Swords is in the service partners, and we'll get into that. And oh yeah, the funders. Funders are <laughs> funders are there. And the policymakers. So some of the three big partners are Gelfand Partners, the architect preserving this historical building, uh, Lisa Gelfand, Jim Fagler, and Kate Oshell, who are part of the Gelfand part architects. And their names come up so much at the nonprofit development. You know, there's a, a, a small list of people who know each other very well, who end up really, really helping create so much of this really crucial important housing that really, you know, we're talking about poverty prevention and, 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 and opportunities. That's what we're talking about. I want to uh, uh, shout out to Cahill Construction. And Cahill Construction, uh, it was really a pleasure working with their team. I mean, uh, Chuck uh, Paley and, and, and Guy Estes and Jeff Deschauer, Matt Irwin, Mike Gorman, Emmett Seymour, all the big Cahill folks who really took an interest. I think a, a special interest in, in wanting to see this uh, building for veterans. They really saw that what it was you know, what, they, what we were trying to do, with the home we were trying to create. Uh, I want to sh uh, shout out to Armando Vasquez, our construction manager. Uh, just going to go through this. And, uh, the, and all the community key leaders, etc., etc. Some of our financial uh, partners include the Home Depot Foundation. I don't know, if, is, is Sherry with us here? Sherry, Sherry Carraway from uh, Home Depot. Hey, Sherry. And again, you know, I, couldn't be done without, without all this help and support. Of course, the Housing Authority, the Redevelopment Agency, the Corporation for Support of Housing, HUD, the Mayor's Office of Housing, Olson, I saw Olson, he, Olson Lee was here, there's Olson, Joan McNamara, Evan Gross, Georgia Martin, and, and actually some of the other folks who, I mean, a project like this takes, you know, it takes some time. It starts, you know, as, as Leon said, we we're talking about 2008, here we are four years later, going on five years, so we had Previously, Doug Schumacher and even Joe Lipsky, wherever he might be, was all involved with, with, with this particular building as they have been involved with many buildings such as this. So some of the other project team members include Grubb and Barche, Scott Barche and Nixon Peabody, Alan Lowe, all the attorneys that help us with the, you know, all those, uh, all those legal documents that come up. There's uh, a lot of legal documents. And then uh, I'm just going to go through this. The historical planning consultant folks, uh, Kerry and Company built Shugaya, and also the, the folks that helped us with the financial package, backed up by the California, uh, all the citizens of California. This is really a project for the entire state of California because they're the ones that are backing all the financing, all the, all the, the tax credit stuff. It's really being backed by the California, uh, the people of California, citizens of California. So the California Housing Partnership Corporation helped us prepare the financial docs. Um, 
Yokomiso Associates, uh, there's a Bright Green Strategies, Treadwell and Rolo, Professional Services Industry, the old Republic Title Company, um, and our service partners. I'm going to start with, of course, as I mentioned, Human Service Agency and Trent, Trent's here, I believe, Trent Rohr, and uh, also the San Francisco Department of Public Health, Barbara Garcia. Where's Barbara? But the health department was key. It's a, it's a tremendous, uh, the health department of San Francisco is unbelievable. San Francisco General Hospital and health care provided and the outreach that they do and the community-based care they provide us. We are so lucky, you know, because you go in other areas and you realize just how rich that system of health care really is. We're really, really fortunate and the people we work with are fortunate. But most of all, as a service partner, I have to thank the Veterans Administration. The Veterans Administration. And uh, the Veterans Administration. Uh, there's... Uh, VA, that we built this, the public, the people, the nation, the country. That's what we're about to this about. And, you know, we have two full-time staff members working here in this building to make it possible. You don't just put a building together, you got to have the services available, you have the subsidy in place, you have to truly build a community, because that's how, that's what it's all about. It's about a connection. You know, homeless folks, especially homeless veterans, are so isolated and disconnected. And the first thing you have to do is treat people with the respect and dignity they deserve. And then you start building connections. And you find out, oh yeah, they're just like everyone. They just want the same things. They want love and support and family and a life. And so that kind of community that's built is going to be helped made possible through the VA, the case managers who are going to be on site and have been on site for 